Hi everybody, so we're coming here from the PGA Development Centre Waterfall and what you'll see in our new range is the top tracer screens. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough now on how we're going to navigate the new system and how to get the most out of it. So first of all we're going to go past the safety warnings and you'll see the start screen. So we're going to click start. Now here you have two options. First and the best one is you can download the top tracer range app. So if you don't have the app already, you can click on the logo and you can scan this QR code. This will take you directly to the app to download it. If you don't have that, you'll see on your screen now the top tracer range text. If you type this into your app store, you will find the app super easy. If you have already downloaded your app, you fill in your name, your age and your email address and your account will be created immediately. Now you can scan this QR code and this will take you into the full features of the Top Tracer range. If you don't have an app, you can simply click skip and type in your name and click add. This will start you into the same system. Now on the main screen you will see that some of the things have icons. Okay? Basically if any of the items have an icon, this is where the app really comes into play because it will store all of your data. So any with the clock, this is counted as your history. So it will keep your shot history, it will keep all of your data so that you can look back over time and reflect on your progressions. Any with a trophy, this is where you will go into the competitions which are registered with the driving range by country and worldwide. So you can kind of gauge yourself against everybody else at the driving range, country and in the world. So we're going to start off with my practice. Now this one is quite a good feature because it will keep track of your specific irons. As you can see here we have woods, hybrids, irons and wedges. So within each category it has every single club that you would possibly have in your golf bag. Now once we click on your irons it will give you your irons and it will give you your data and your averages. So you can see over the course of a session exactly how precise, consistent and how far you're hitting it. Now one thing that's very, very important across all of the features here at the Top Tracer range is setting your target. On the driving range you will see five separate targets which correlate to here on the range map. Now what we have is the different targets that you will aim over. So this basically represents the center of the fairway or the flag when you're playing the golf course. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that our bay is aligned to the targets that we want to hit over. So I can make sure that my target here is set to the correct target and then it's going to give me the best results. If my bay is set to the incorrect target and I hit a beautiful straight shot, on the screen it's going to reflect as a bad shot because it's not aligned up to that target. So always remember to set your target properly. If we go back into the main screen, what you're going to see next is the virtual golf, which is one of the favorite features of a lot of the golfers here. So the virtual golf, we will start the game and you see that we have lots of different golf courses to choose from. Now the two most popular ones, St Andrews and Pebble Beach, you must have the login to be able to play those courses. So again, another advantage of getting the login. If I quickly show you the course, you will see here there's full features of the golf course and I'm going to play to the best of my ability to try and keep it on the fairway and get the lowest scores. Whenever I complete the round, my score will then be tracked into the Top Tracer app and then you'll be able to see how you compare to the rest of Hong Kong, rest of the world, rest of the range. So I can aim on the screen simply by dragging and the center line is going to be directly at the target that I've set on the driving range, which you can see right here is exactly the same as on the My Practice settings. When we go back here, we have the closest to pin and the longest drive competitions. So the closest to pin is set every week by Top Tracer. We cannot change it. So everybody worldwide is shooting at the same pin. Normally, you've got to get a hole in one to place on the leaderboards. So good luck with that. 
Longest drive is basically grip it and rip it. See how far you can hit your shot. Let's not let it go too wide, but it's all about power, all about club head speed. Now, one of my favorite games as a coach, teaching a lot of kids, is the Go Fish. So Go Fish is a game that you definitely need to have the login for because it's a premium feature of the Top Tracer range. So I'll show you that one at the end. The approach challenge is similar to the virtual golf, but what we do is we pick one of the golf courses and we just hit the approach shot into the green. This isn't playing the full course, but there is no forgiveness, no mulligans, and it is the closest shot throughout the nine holes. The distances get accumulated and that will be your score. So it's not just about hitting one good shot, it's consistency and hitting constant good approach shots. And then the points game, the last one, is pretty good one to practice. So here it will show you the five targets on the driving range. And this is you trying to hit the ball as close as you can to each target. The closer you get, the more points you will get. Now, this is a good image to show you for the virtual golf also, because when we are doing the virtual golf, our ball always has to travel 20 yards so the technology can pick up the golf ball and make a good reading. So obviously there's not going to be any putting. So how do you finish the hole? So basically what you have to do is you have to chip your ball or pitch your ball into the baskets. Okay, so it's where the ball will land is where your score will come from. So if you hit a really close shot to the hole, you're going to see that your targets will be very, very big around the holes and you've got a good chance at scoring. If you've hit your approach shot and you're still 35 feet from the hole, it's a tough old putt. So your circles are gonna be very, very small and you're gonna have less, less chance of making those really nice scores. So a couple things that you can also change around with with the screen is two bits on the settings here in the top corner. So we can change the language. Unfortunately, right now, there is no Chinese, no Cantonese, so we've got to stick with English, or you see the other languages here, if you can speak any of them, all good. And then what we can do here also is change the units of measurement from imperial to metric. So depending on which one you prefer, it's two clicks to change from yards to meters, from kilometers to miles per hour. Super easy. If you have any further questions, you can simply ask any of the coaches, any of the staff, range attendants, or customer service people at reception. They'll be able to help you out with any questions. Enjoy, guys.